This is Andy Purawal for Boxing Social in association with Betfred and I'm delighted to be joined by WBC World Lightweight Champion Devin Haney here in Las Vegas. Devin, firstly, how are you? I'm doing good. Obviously, you finally got this fight over the line with Jojo Diaz. Just talk to me about the past couple of weeks, Devin, trying to negotiate this fight. I'm, I'm sure you assumed yourself it may or may not happen. You know, what was going through your mind? Did you ever think it may not happen? Um, of course. I mean, I thought, you know, maybe it may not happen. Maybe it will happen. You know, we were, we were still looking at other guys, you know, just in case that the fight that didn't happen. Um, but Eddie was confident that it would happen. So we got the job done. It happened. And, you know, I look forward to it now. What were the factors behind this fight taking a bit longer to get it over the line? Uh, money. That was the main thing, money. I mean, like, stuff I can't really, like, I don't know too much about, but I just know that, you know, the numbers-wise. We've seen the back and forth over social media between yourself and JoJo whilst the negotiations were ongoing. Um, has that built this fight up a little bit more for you? Has it made a little bit of bad blood, almost? I mean, it's just talk at the end of the day. Um, I know JoJo, you know, he, he all he want to do is talk. You know, he want to... Uh, he, Jojo, he's the type of person, he, he talk on the internet, then he DM, he DM me to go to beg to go live with me. So I know that he's, he's, he just wants some clout, that's all. Devin, this fight with Jojo, do you see this as the toughest test in your career for, so far? Is he tougher than Jorge Linares? On paper, it's the toughest test, you know, because he's young, he's hungry, he's coming at the, off the best win of his career against um, Fortuna. So, you know, he's, he's, he's going to come with it, with, he's going to bring his all. And uh, I'm happy that I finally can get a, fight, a fighter that's, you know, in their prime, young, hungry, and at the top. So I'm excited for it. So stylistically, Devin, how do you expect the pair of you to match up when you are in the ring? What are you expecting um, Jojo to bring into this fight that you may not have come up against previously? Um, I can't, he, he's not going to bring nothing to the table that I haven't, excuse me. He's not gonna. He's not gonna bring nothing to the table that I've never seen before. He's not. He's. He doesn't do nothing that out of the ordinary. You know. I know that he's gonna come in there. He's gonna come to fight. Uh, he's coming to win. He. He's. He, he's gonna try to put the pressure on. Try to. You know. Rough me up. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see how how that works for him. Because Tio fights a week before you as well. Do you feel like you want to make a bit of a statement on the back of that? Because I know you've had your altercation at the Garcia Martin fight, and just talk about that fight taking place next year. I mean, I'm not really worried about Tio and you know his fight. Not a lot of people really are really focused on his fight. You know, it's not because, you know, it's just because it's been pushed back so long, been prolonged. Now everybody's just, like, kind of tired of it. So it, it is what it is. The, the, the fight that the world is going to want to see is me and JoJo. And, is what it is. We saw a Tifimo yesterday and he said that he asked for WBC to put a petition out for you to sign so then you, you two can face off next year and, he said, and his dad said you haven't signed it yet. Can you just clarify that? I don't even know what he's talking about. I, honestly, I don't even know what he's talking about. Do you expect the pair of you to face off next year? I hope so, yeah. Uh, inshallah, we, we, get to, uh, we get to fight next, next year. I want to make the fight happen. Uh, I've been calling for it for a while. So, you know, you guys can keep asking me over and over and over. Do I want to make the fight happen? It's obvious. You know, I've been saying it for a while now for all the belts. Uh, it's the biggest fight in the lightweight division, so why not? Devin, what did you take away from your altercation ringside from that Garcia Martin fight when the pair of you were talking? He was, again, speaking to Tio yesterday, he said he spoke over you and he said that showed kind of the level of confidence you had com in comparison to him. If that's, if that's what he got from it, that's what he got from it. I'm happy that, you know, we, we came to an agreement and hopefully he follows through on his side and we make the fight happen. You know, we could talk all, over somebody all you want, but in a, in, in a, at the end of the day, when you get in the ring is when it all matters. You know, talking don't win fights. Just two fights to quickly get your thoughts on Lopez Cambosas. What do you make of Tio's fight there? Don't even care about it. Um, and then you also got Tank and Cruz again. Your thoughts? Um, I think that you know that that's an uh, easy fight for Tank. Uh, Cruz, I don't really know too much about him. I know that he's a dog. That he got you know um, that he's going to come to fight. But I just think Tank is on a total different level than, than him. The final one, Devin Canelo plan this weekend. Undisputed. Your thoughts? I love Caleb. That's my boy. Um, you know, I've been knowing Caleb for a long time, so I'm rooting for Caleb. I want him to, to bring it home, but it's a tough task, so we'll see what happens. Devin, thank you. Thank you.